pardon me, I overslept. Waiting to hear the ring bells of a father figure, so I wandered wandering in the wilderness of broken norms and culture. Growing up as a teenager, poet boy, with whom society shall look up to someday, without and in the absence of a father figure. So I was natured, mentored, groomed, guarded, protected, provided, and sheltered me in its winds of decayed morals, the duty of a father, society, and gave me rights and freedom to exercise my manhood ability that being a man is to have multiple references of multiple partners developing baby producers in the absence of the father surely how could you be a father fathering those without fathers without referring to the ultimate source Yahweh God himself I am that I am father of fathers the genesis source and define of every father figure you are lost my boy because real men and real fathers they provide protect guide discipline and shelters their family. He is the priest and the head of the house, spiritual and physical. I wish I make my dream come true. I waited for the star to come and shine all over, shine all over me. I wish upon my dream. And there's a reason why. Don't worry about Grace. She's no longer coming. I've told you time without number Remember? that you should call before coming. Wait a minute. Is that me you're talking to? Is that me you're talking to in that man that told me? Chris, you know what? Oh my goodness, it man. Get out. Go oh. and get out. Get out. Thank you. Get out! Thank you. You're treating me very well. since I came here and you don't want to open the door.
talking to you? Are you deaf? Tell me, I'm, I'm reading my Bible. I'm not in the mood today, seriously. So is your Bible very important than me? And how many times have I told you there's no reading the Bible in my bedroom? I don't know. I am talking to you! Got a feeling you're not gonna be a good night. Good night for both of us. Eh? <laughs> I just wanna get myself a check. I mean, you said you get me one, and I've been waiting. How are you, man? Great. great. I want to introduce you to Sophia. Sophia, meet Tony. Hey, Sophia, it's quite amazing. Great meeting you. Oh, nice meeting you too. Oh, that's good. I've heard quite amazing stuff about you. Quite classic, you know. Dev, like we said, um, you know, yeah. you know what is happening. Sophia, um, I will see you. I'll be in touch. Cool. Sophia, this is the man that I was telling you about. Wow. His name is Tony. I saw that too. Yeah. He's my good, 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 good friend. We, we, we went to high school together, primary school, so. We, we have grown up together, you know, he's my good friend. I've known him since a long time. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Mom. I'm fine, yeah. <clears throat> How are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm still awake. No, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> He's fine. Yeah, mom. Uh, listen. I'm, I'm not fine. Tony keeps hurting me. This is just too much for me. You know, he's not even home right now. Yeah. Yeah, mom. I, yeah, I, I, I will have to move out of this house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, he, he, he really got no heart. He keeps insulting me, he yells at me for no reason, he kicks me all the time. I even lost my baby due to his brutality. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll keep on praying. Yeah. Okay, tomorrow then. Okay, I love you tomorrow. Morning, Grace. Tony, 
Where are you coming from? Since you left yesterday morning, you are coming in only now. Is that how you greet your husband? I am tired of your damn shit. You hear me? I'm tired. I am tired too. I am tired of your nagging, your, your screaming. I am tired. I'm also just saying, it is really getting out of hand. I'm, I'm out of you. I'm out. It's not working. Tony! Tony! I'm still talking to you! Savage you any time, my daughter-in-law. These days, you cannot even tell who are the real pastors. Yes, mother, you are right. A bunch of them are fake to the core. They even use evil powers. God forbid. People are under their spell. And this is the problem because they bring division in the families. Mm. And this is not right. Mother. Oh. Hi, Tony. Welcome. What are you doing here? You hardly come around. Tony! What is the meaning of that? Grace, leave him. Tony, I'm your mother. And there is no reason why I should not visit you and Grace. I guess there's nothing wrong. Love me. But if, if you really do love me, 
Don't you just let me go? Well, what do you mean? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> give, give me a divorce. No. I, I need it. I... No, how am I going to live without you? Without you, I will die. I will die. You... Don't, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I, I promise to change. I, I won't leave you anymore. Okay. I promise to change. Okay. It's all about work, right? Wrong. Wrong? I regret marrying Grace, you know? I curse the dear made her. Man, I think you're just too harsh on me. Harsh? Yeah. Do you know what is happening? Yeah, tell me. Grace is the visible demon that is just tormenting my life day in, day out. I have an idea. I think you need a spell well. What is that? Ah, a girl that can relieve you from your stress. <laughs> That's a double trouble. No, not exactly. Because she'll just help you to get out of your trauma. I'll bond on it. I think that's good. So okay, let me dress up. Let's go inside. All right. Sophia, you're very crazy. No, 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 not exactly. You know, I have to rush for another meeting. But you know, you need a massage, you know, it's stressful. So, can you make it? 20 minutes? No, 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 no. At least five or 10. Okay, five. Oh, that's great. Okay, I'll be waiting. Bye. Okay, bye. Thanks for the buffet you served. That was amazing. Buffet, huh? Yeah. The cost will send hands for us. No, still a pretty good deal. I mean, uh, now the services he offered. I have to rush to a meeting. Yeah. <sighs> it's time I 
came to redefine manhood, returning back to the true definition of manhood. You see, as men, being honest enough to horrify ashes and shadows of insecurities within, investing in assets and offer value to every woman as they deserve, rooted in principles of life which bounces back like an echo man, loving her without words, presenting my action as a red carpet for her to walk through. You see, man, trusting her without any conditions or any strings attached, being honest in my shortcomings and emotional instabilities. Man, we forgive and forgiving without listening to our emotions. You see, understanding with patience that we're of opposite sex in apprehending issues. It's a time in simple words. You see, men invest in assets and boys will pay for toys. You look good in that dress. Thanks. Life can be so complicated. But it has everything in it. The bad, the ugly, and the beautiful, you name it. I'm a little bit lost, Mom. Why are you saying all these things after looking at your late husband's picture? Oh. Oh, girl, he was such a strong man. The fine cologne he wore, and that sexy smile that brightened up everything about him. I see. But why, why is Tony not like him? <laughs> Tony is typically his father. He is a cocktail. But how? Tony's father, I was it, was such a great man. I, until life took an ugly turn. My life crumpled, and so did his. He became so abusive for no reason. He would yell, scream, and punch me as if he was fighting another man. I'm sorry, Ma. I loved him so much, but he failed me. <laughs> and his only son, everything you see Tony doing today is what he learned from his father. Oh, God. I lost my husband. And now I'm losing my son, too. God, don't cry. Please don't cry, Mama. Don't cry. It's painful to see my late abusive husband in Tony. It's okay. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm profoundly lost. What is the issue? I'm looking for Tony. Tony, in connection with? Hey, you see this child in my arms? Yes, what I about her? It is Father Tony. Do you know the gravity of what you were just saying? Where is he? I came to see him, not you, madam. Well, he's not in comeback. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can see you can't take me seriously. I will wait for him until he came. He must take the responsibility of his child. Then we saw it. Okay, okay, okay. Now maybe we can go inside and then we wait there. Now we are talking. Come, my darling. Why do you 
all look put up like that. Tony, do you know this lady? Not exactly. What is she doing here? Don't mess around with me. You know this woman. I do not know this whore. I do not know this whore. Tony, if you think you're going to leave the responsibility of supporting the child on me, you are mistaken, my darling. This woman brought your child. <laughs> this is not my child. It's not my child. Tony, you will take full responsibility. She even told me that she is ready for a DNA test mm -hmm. if you deny. <laughs> I am not going to take any stupid DNA test. Yes, you will. You wimp of a man. Your dark secrets have been exposed. Shut up, you whore. Now, Joanna, you get out of my house before I do something ugly. So you know her name? Mm-hmm. Go on, my darling. Do a cliffing as you called. Hmm? You will do no such thing. You are such a disgrace. <laughs> and you are a disgrace. You are just like your father. Don't drag my father into this. Don't I'll drag my father into this. I will drag your father down on the floor into this. You are a disgrace to me. Now you get out of my house before. Shut your damn mouth, Tony. I'm not going anywhere until you start supporting this child. I'm going to sleep. Where's the room? Oh. Don't try to stain me with your dirty mess. Why, Grace? Why do you enjoy and delight in making me angry? Why do you like messing up my life? Why do you involve my mother in the issue that only concerns you and me? This issue of rubbish, Joanna. Because you are unapproachable. You are hard to reason. Because you are out of control. Are you talking to me like that? Listen! I want this stupid <laughs> rubbish. Hold Joanna out of my house, you got to fix it. No, when you stick your stick into that hole, you did not. You did not tell me, you did not ask me to get rid of her. So now you have. Why? <sighs> Joanna? I tolerated your nonsense last night. I want to be the nicest man I could be. I want you and your daughter out of my house. Leave I and my family in peace. Because you don't like what you're going to see. I want you out this morning. Tony. Mama, not again. I can't believe this. Joanna has brought a storm in my house. She's telling my mother and my wife that that child she's having is mine. Tony, let us be realistic. Okay. Let us be realistic here, my friend. Mm -hmm. You've been dating this girl and I'm aware of it. Yes. You even slept with her more than you can count. Of course. Now, why bring up this fuss? Are you also trying to say that that child is mine? Yes. 100%! That child is yours! Tony, I swear to you with my life, I'm willing to bet everything I've got on that. Man, accept your responsibility. You are the one that brought all this mess in my life. Yes. But you went way far. Didn't you know that Mr. Condom existed? You fool, it busted many times. Yeah. And spam entered many times. Fool, go home and fix it. Wow, look at you, my girl. Wow. 
Wow, Tony. Mm. I've missed you. Oh, a lot. And you, you look amazing. And you are the last person I expected to see. I know. How have you been? Um, let's forget about it. Come here. Hey, what are you doing? I didn't come for that. <laughs> You're still playing hide and seek. Look. You know, you know, just, it's me. Don't get it twisted. What is it? Please. I'm a born again. Oh, bad. But that old friend that you used to know, mm. sleep with, yeah. is long dead. I'm a new creature now. Wow, new creature. Okay. Okay. Tony. Huh? Wait. Okay. What? I want you to pray with me. Can we pray? Okay. Carl, bless Tony and bless your wife and bless his house. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You can go to sleep now. Okay. Good night. Good night. Why is she here? Finny. Who else? Why do you keep on inviting your friends here? Tony, she just came to visit us. She is not invited. Please tell her to leave. Don't say that, Tony. Grace, you know me very well. Don't upset me. Please tell her to leave. I don't want to see her tomorrow morning. You are putting me in an awkward situation. My God, how do I even start telling Fanny this? I don't know how you're going to do it. Just tell her to leave. I don't like her. You are so so heartless. Tony, I'm leaving your house for market. Sin is bad. Sin is evil. <laughs> Finny, don't play dear with me. I'll forget that. Forget what? You know what? Get out of my house before I use force. Sin is a virus. Look at you. You have lost touch with yourself. This is enough. Can you now get out? Get out! Get out! Please, Grace! Grace! in my own house. I don't know. Grace, what's going on? Please tell me. I'm your friend, right? You trust me enough, so. Yeah. Please tell me. Uh, you know, I Tony has been abusing me. He has been abusing me physically, he's abusing me emotionally. He beats me up. He, um, he says I'm not good in bed, is my food that I cook is not nice. He always he breaks me with his money. I, I'm, I'm really not happy. I, I'm not fine. I, he he's been cheating on me. For Christ's sake. I, I don't know what to do. Friends, do you know what? The only thing that you can do is just go to the hospital and get tested. A test of HIV so that you can know where you are. But it's gonna be fine. Trust me, it's gonna be fine. Doctor, is, is there any probability that maybe I'm HIV free? Uh, that's quite too primitive now to make a conclusive decision about that. The virus is in its early stages and it's going to take some Doctor, time. So you mean I am HIV positive? My God. No, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, calm down. That's not what I said. 
I send your samples to the laboratory and uh, the person that's in charge of your detection is kind of comes from out there, so I think we'll have a couple of more days. I'm, I'm just scared and confused. I understand I'm, I'm... you, miss. I Everybody that comes here for their testing, is, uh, they're always anxious. But I suggest you go home, you take a bath or a snap, and then we'll call you in when we have any results. Okay. Take care. Grace? Grace? Grace, wake up. Go and prepare a meal for me. I'm hungry. What, what is this, Tony? I said I'm hungry. Go and make a meal for me. Wake up. Tony, I'm having abdominal pains. And can I'm you, hungry. Can you just be remorseful with me for once, please? You're not feeling okay and I am hungry. So wake up, go and make a meal for me. Wake up. Not if you don't want my troubles, just wake up and go and prepare a meal for me. Please. Um, I'm just helping Grace to cook. She's not feeling well. It's okay, ma'am. Let me cook. No, no, my child. Just go and rest. Tony, please take care of her. Tony, I'm talking to you. Don't worry, ma. I got this. Tony, where are you this heartless? Why are you so cold towards your own wife? Ma'am, just leave me the hell alone. Just do a little cooking. Don't try to find means to upset me. Your food is very delicious, Mama. Grace, it's my money that is delicious. Okay, cut it out. I know your money is very delicious, Tony. I didn't come for all this. I came so to see to it that you and Grace live in harmony and you give me grandchildren. No, 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 no. Don't give me that look. This is a very vital and important matter. It is even written that you shall fill the earth. It is written. What's on your mind? I hate his friend. Who? Dave, Tony's friend, ma. Please don't get yourself all wet up. These two will change. These two will pass. Just like a whooshing wind. It better. Because I'm losing my mind every day, ma. My daughter. Hmm. Come to think of it. When will I carry my own child? Grandchild. I really don't know, ma. Uh, unless we come to the terms with your son. Ain't no child. My daughter. Hmm? When you have a baby, it changes things. It changes, it brings everything back on track. And he will change, he will become a better father and husband. Mama, I don't buy a fish which is still in the river and it's not caught yet. What do you mean? I can't give him a child, Ma. Unless he grows up and be a real man, a father figure. My, my daughter, just have faith. Give him a chance. Give him some time. I know he will change. I have faith in him. I, I don't know about that. Mother. Yes? Can I talk to you? Yes, you can. I'm, I'm, I'm not this type of person that, that wants to be where I'm not you know, I've, I've spoken to you so many times about the issue in this house. Mm -hmm. I've been abused physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm. Tony has even cheated on me. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Oh, I know Mother, he has been abused. You know, I'm tired of being a burden to someone. I think it's, it's, it's just better I leave or... I. 
don't know. My child, I understand your pain. You might understand the pain, but I disagree with you when you say you feel my pain. Mm. Only I can feel this pain. I'm the only one who knows how this feels. You know, I... I actually found... condoms in Tony's pockets. Jesus. And also some disturbing text messages in his phone. Are and you sure? Yes, he, naked pictures of women. And him also naked pictures of himself. He sent to women. I, I I saw it, Mom. I saw it in his phone. I, I I think I must just go back to my parents' house. I understand your pain, but please, just give my son one more chance. I beg you. I beg you. Just one more. I know he will change. Look after his father. Okay, please. He can change. I'll give him one more chance. Only one. Just just because of you. And thank you. Just because of you, I will say this. Tony. Mother. I somewhere. I want us to go tomorrow. Okay. You don't always tell me where you are going. So, why are you telling me today? Actually, I want you to go with me to that place. Okay. What is the place then? When we get there, you'll find out. Okay. I'm fine. Yeah. What time? Tomorrow. Um, I'll let you know. But don't worry. It will not take long. Okay, mother. Okay. I'll be waiting. Sure. Mother, of all the places, what are we doing here? Why are we here for? Keep quiet, Tony. I should keep quiet. I should keep quiet. I mean, I am very busy of all the places to take me. You have to bring me to the graveyard. Just shut up. I brought you to this place because I am tired. I am tired of you making our lives a living hell. And that of that young innocent girl. I'm digging your own grave. That's why I brought you here to see it. Mother, I'm out of here. Listen, Tony. Mother? Today you will listen to me, Tony. Mother, leave my Just get down here. Your late father sold his soul to obscurity. Therefore, light became his enemy. He chose to join the army of Goliath because he was a giant thinking that David would lose the battle. Your father abused me. He physically, and you saw it. He squandered all that we worked for. He gave himself over to horse and prostitutes. That's what brought him to this place. He got swallowed up by the evil he enjoyed. I suffered. I suffered for you. I was rejected. Because of your late father, I was rejected. No one was willing to help me. When you felt sick to the point that you almost died. Oh. No one would help me. I had to sell my body. I had to sell my body in order to save you. For your sake, I took the risk. I got raped so you could live today. And now, you want to die? Hell no! You will not die. You 
you will not die, my son. You need to clean yourself up. You need to get up. You are not going to into this grave before me. No, you will not. You will not. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm sorry. I, I didn't know you had you had gone through so much. I didn't know you, you had gone through so much just for me. Please, please, forgive me. Forgive me. <laughs> You won't die. You won't die. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Mama. I'm sorry. What? Look what we have here. So is this what has been happening behind my back? Dave. Tony, you surprise me. You think you're gonna have all the girls for yourself? You know we are African, we share it. That's how it is. For how long? I lived believing you were my friend. Yet you have been deceiving me, sleeping with my girl behind my back. We are still friends, and friends help each other. You need to go home and fix your life. Get out of here. Okay. I guess so. Hey, Tony. In Africa, we share. Don't forget that, man. <laughs> Don't forget that. Come here, baby. Calm down, relax, and regular checkups will help you. Please don't neglect using your medication. Do you have any family close by? Okay, so I suggest you go with them, you explain to them. We need to talk. Karina, wait until tomorrow. But by tomorrow, it's another phase of life. I'm all ears. I went to the doctor today for my HIV test results and it came out positive. What? You brought this predicament up on me. Are you serious? Are you accusing me? You went out to look for it. You know, I, I, you made me a virgin. When I married you, I was a virgin, Tony. I, I, I never gave my body to any other man than you. I only slept with you. Now I have this virus in me. I mean, the virus doesn't only come <laughs> Sleeping with a man. Maybe you touched him in the wrong place. How can you do this to me? But you know what? I I suggest you also go and test. I'm not ready for me. And I'll I'll be leaving. I'll, I'll be going to my parents for a while. So that I can, I can just go fresh, go get fresh air. I, I don't know what to do. I'll just go for a while and then, in the meantime, you must, you must be testing. I'm not ready to do that. Because I know I'm fine. You know what? I need to sleep. Shut your dirty mouth. You scum!
Alhamdulillah for me. How did you even come up to me? I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. Don't, don't talk to me. Don't even talk to me with that big door mouth of yours. You no, speak. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. You, you are going too far. That's a little bit too far. I can really go no, no. really, really far. You shan't listen to me. I picked you as a junk from the street. I bathed you. You have no right, no right whatsoever, to talk to me like that. You call me a junk? Yes. I let you leave all the value of the ladies there and come to marry this junk. You know why? Because you are a trash. You are going too far, Grace. You are very, very stupid. You whore! Actually, I am tired. You are evil. You are you are bad. Who Get is your talking and... about evil here? You are the evil one. The devil is not proud of what you do. What you just did to now? me. You are the devil himself. You, you just... are evil than a demon. I am going to take my meds and go to my parents. Yes, live. And before you leave, tell me when are you coming back? I'm coming back. Never! Go see it by then. Yes, you will come back. Because this is the only place you have. I am the only heaven you have. Yes, you will. Hi, Johnny the Port. Let's first the facts. Please take off your mask and let me enlighten you about reality. Yeah, I'm so proud of my imperfections. Because of his perfection made it perfect in my purpose. I'm not afraid to display my mistakes. I am telling you that covered wounds never heal my beautiful mistakes. I cheated on my wife just like my daddy did to my mother. It's all in my DNA. I'm sorry, I'm not here to appease your hypocritical perfection. I'm not the man you want, ask my wife. Hidden in me is vulnerability covered with violence. I'm short-tempered because I'm scared of my fears and my tears. I'm here to convince you that I'm just a victim, yet you won't believe me. You mocked me. Yes, you mocked me. This is the pain that guides me into perfection. Fighting against my father's imperfection that speaks louder in my son. I am flaming my mistakes as a reminder to my son never to walk in my mistaken path. Yeah. I try to upgrade in my behavior and my speech to be a father figure in raising my son. But each time I speak, all I hear is my father's voice. These undeveloped negative that pulls me back to the past pictures, reminding me that you are just like your parents. Only time for affection is the bedtime. I'm sorry. When I'm wrong, I can't even say sorry to my wife because of pride and maturity of manhood. Never treasured her like precious.